They build a barrier around their lives and they refuse to allow people in. They refuse to talk to anyone. Are you here saying? Because they feel in their own hearts something must be wrong with me. Maybe it's my hair. Maybe it's my height. Maybe it's my weight. Why doesn't my mother love me? Why doesn't my husband love me? Why doesn't my wife love me? Why are my friends treating me like that? Why are people at my workplace? And sooner or later, the enemy now comes and whispers to you. He starts ministering to you. And if you trace, we discovered again, if you trace rejection, rejection actually starts in early childhood. Someone say early childhood. It begins... In the womb, someone say the womb. the womb. And we spoke about in utero wounding, wounding in the womb, where a mother rejects the child in the womb. Now my wife went through this. When we had our first baby, we were a newly married couple. We didn't waste time, we got pregnant immediately. <laughs> hey. And my wife was young. She now has a baby. At 23, she is carrying a baby. And she didn't know what to do with the baby. Are you here? Because she's a baby herself. Amen. So guess who ends up taking care of the baby? <laughs> now, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying this to be humorous at all. It's a real condition experienced by mothers. What's it called, Sir Shah? Postnatal depression. Post? Whatever, post something. Postnatal, postpartum depression. Have you heard of that term? Yes. Where a mother is so new, firstborn child, that the mother doesn't know what to do with the baby. And the mother actually dislikes because the baby is crying, the baby is doing all this, and the mother does not that mm. into her. By the time we had the second child, Sharon adjusted. But the first one, therefore, my daughter is very independent. She's mm. tough and strong. <laughs> because she didn't have all that cuddling when she was born. Are you here? Now, uh, is this real? Yes. So where does rejection come from? Right at the early childhood stages. And I hope you're listening to all of this and digesting all of these things. Particularly if you're going to have a baby or if you have children. Very important. Now there are certain signs that you have the spirit of rejection.